Hi everyone, so it's about 6.37 right now in the evening and today's the 18th and I almost forgot to upload a video today and it's not like me to forget. I just, I guess I don't know what happened. I guess I just forgot that I'm doing videos every day this month and I just totally forgot that I'm supposed to be doing a video. So yeah, so you guys almost weren't going to have a video today, but I remembered, so there's nothing to worry about. So I have here these chocolate truffles. Um, I have, they're on top of a box of hand warmers. I have dark chocolate ones and milk chocolate ones. I got them from Peapod. That's how I do my grocery shopping. I bought it off Peapod, and um, Peapod is by Stop and Shop. And when I get truffles... I try not to buy the variety bag, but I like the variety bag because they have like the peanut butter ones and you don't really know which one you're going to get next because I like dark chocolate, I like milk chocolate and all that, but I don't like white chocolate, so that's why I got like the dark and the milk chocolate ones. I, they did have the white chocolate ones, but I don't like white chocolate. Now the thing with white chocolate is I'll eat it, but I don't prefer it because I feel like it's not chocolate, you know, first of all, it's really sweet. And also, it's, to me, it's not chocolate. So, uh, I don't really, I prefer milk or dark, but if something, if I have something that's white chocolate, I will eat it, but I don't really prefer it. I mean, I don't hate it, but I just would prefer milk or dark. So, that's my take on white chocolate. But, what I was saying about these truffles, um, <laughs> they're over here in these bags. I, I dug into them already. I had them for a week and I only, I dug into them today, which is actually pretty surprising, but I have a lot of candy right now. So <laughs> I have a lot of chocolate. So I'm like, no, nah, I didn't dig into them yet, which is a surprise, but, <laughs> um, I, they're like really soft. I mean, they're, they didn't melt. They're just like really soft. I mean, they're still like, they're, they still have their shape. They're just like, Normally truffles are supposed to be hard on the outside and then you have the middle that's creamy, but this is, it, these are hard. Or no, these are soft. So I like the truffles where the the outside is hard and then the middle is creamy, but they're a little soft. So I have to be careful when I eat them. And I think what I might have to do is put them in the refrigerator or something so that they can get hard. So I might have to, I might have to go put them in the refrigerator, but I can still eat them because they're not melted. They're just a little soft. So I just prefer if they were hard, but <laughs> I have to go put them in the fridge or something so that they can get hard because it's cold. You know, they need to be somewhere where it's cold. So yeah, <laughs> but that's beside the point. So the video today is going to be about a situation that I'm in. I'm going to try not to make this too long, so I'm going to get right into this. Okay. So I have a friend who is very, very manipulative and controlling, and he is an emotional abuser. He has he has a girlfriend who, his ex-girlfriend passed away in 2010, and she passed away because she was overweight, she was very sick, and when I tell him what I'm eating, like if I tell him, oh, I'm going to go get Domino's, I'm going to go get... You know, I'm going to Pizza Hut, like when I go on Facebook and then post it. Now, you guys know how on Facebook you can give a status, like another reaction other than a like. Like you could react sad, angry, whatever. So he will give my posts sad reactions. And he's always talked to me about like, oh, you got to eat healthy. You got to eat this. You got to that. Like, oh, you shouldn't eat so much. But, and it affects me. You guys may think, oh, well, maybe he's just trying to help you. But no, he's not trying to help me because... I was living in a house with my stepsisters and topic on my stepsisters is a whole nother story, but I'll probably, maybe I'll get into that. Maybe I'll do a video on that this month too, but I do want to do a separate video on that. So it isn't too long. So this video is not super duper long. <laughs> so my, I used to live with my stepsisters and my stepdad and my stepsister's girlfriend was staying at the house every so often. And they would, my stepsisters would complain if I ate something my stepsisters, my stepfather, um, even the girlfriend when she was there, she would complain. Like, they would complain if I had some apple juice 
they would complain if I had a bag of popcorn. Like, even if it wasn't all gone, they would complain that I ate something. And they would complain about how much I ate, what I ate, because they were being selfish because I was eating their food. So, if I ate, I remember, like, they used to hide food from me. They would put a separate refrigerator in the basement so that I wouldn't eat it. Um, they complained if I ate some goldfish, if I ate some cereal, um, if I ate, like, if I ate anything, like if I drank some water, if I had a piece of candy, whatever, like anything I ate, they complained about me. They complained if I spilled soup on the counter, they complained if I, you know, spilled soda and they would, and they took pictures of it and sent it to my stepfather. That's a, that's like something a 10 year old would do. Not even, you know, like I know kids that are younger than me that wouldn't do that. Um, my stepsisters, well, one is younger than me, one is older and, but they should know not to do that still. But, um, basically it was like I was living under a microscope. I had to walk on eggshells. I was afraid to eat stuff because they would complain about it. And I was afraid to eat in front of them. And because I had to fear that every single time I ate something, they would complain about it. Like whether, even if I didn't eat the whole thing, like even if I just had like a handful of goldfish or if say, for example, a box of cereal wasn't on the same spot on the shelf as it was a half an hour ago. It's things like that that they complained about. It was all petty stuff. Like if the box of Cheerios was on the right side of the shelf as opposed to the left side of the shelf, they complained about it. They would complain if the apple juice wasn't in the same spot that it was in 20 minutes ago. They would complain if a fork was on the counter that like, was like moved over a little bit. It was moved over a little bit to the right and it wasn't exactly in the position it was in as to how they left it. And it wasn't how they left it. So my point is like that's what they used to do. So I know it kind of, but just so you guys would see why it affects me when my friend does this. So what he does is he complains like, oh, you eat too, yeah, that I eat too much. Um, he'll say that I have to eat healthier, um, which is really none of his business. Like I should not have to justify to him why I eat what I eat, you know? I'm not draining his bank account. I'm not running up his credit card debt. I'm not, you know, I'm not hurting him, you know? Like if I want to eat, you know, if I want to get Domino's once a week, you know, I should be able to, I'm not going to, I'm not going to put up with his behavior. And he's doing the same thing that my stepsisters did to me. He is an emotional abuser. He complains about what I eat, how much I eat. And he does it when, even when he gives me his food, like he'll complain about me eating his food. So he'll complain. One time he gave me five chocolate truffles and I ate all five of them. He complained about it. He's like, oh, you, I gave you those truffles and you ate all five of them. You have no self-control. And then he gave me four Slim Jims. And for you guys seen like little Slim Jims are probably like, like maybe four inches long. And, um, you know, I had four of them. He gave me four of them. He's, and then he, he yelled at me. He's like, oh, you ate four Slim Jims and when it comes to food, you just go gulp, gulp, gulp. You don't stop. Like, he's not polite about it. And I told him one point he's a very controlling individual. And he said, it's not, the C word isn't controlling, the C word is caring. And I compare him to my stepsisters because he's doing what they did. I feel like his intentions are the same as what theirs were. So he's always complaining about what I eat. He's complaining that I eat his food. He complained once because I ate like 10 cookies. It's none of his business what I eat, you know? Like, he complained that I ate his food. And that's none of his business. So every so often when I go on Facebook and I post that I'm having like buffalo wings for dinner or something, he'll give it like a sad reaction. So a lot of times I would just let it go because I knew why he was doing it. He was trying to prove a point. But then there was one time when I had actually, I would just let it go. I'd ignore it. But there was one time when I just couldn't ignore it. I couldn't bring myself to just let it go. So what I did was, for those of you guys that have Facebook, 
you know that you can tag people in statuses, comments, things like that. So I mentioned his name in a comment and I told him to stop whining, to stop complaining. You sound like my stepsisters. Um, you sound like their names are, their real names are Brittany and Alexa. So he said, I said, you sound like Brittany and Alexa. You don't want to be like them. So do everyone a favor and stop complaining. And I'm going to live my life the way I want. And he was, and then one of my friends was like, no, I'm on your side. He's being an asshole. He was trying to like shut him up. And then my friend, he called me, he started screaming at me and he's like, what are you doing? You're making me look like an asshole on Facebook. You know, I'm not Brittany and Alexa. And I said, well, you complained about me and that's what they did. And he said, I'm not, I'm not them. And it's just that I, I told him that like, I'm going to live my life the way I want. And he's saying that's childish, but that's not childish because children don't understand consequences. Children don't have a right to just live their life the way they want. You know, children don't understand that they can they can't just get away with anything. So, as adults, we have to make our own decisions and understand that yes, we can live our lives the way we want, but if we make a mistake, actions do have consequences. So, he was upset about me basically making him look like an idiot on Facebook, but I had told him, I'm going to live my life the way I want. You should be thankful that I can eat because there are people in this world that have to eat via a feeding tube inserted in their stomach and they can only have the same four or five liquids for their whole life and someone has to inject it in the tube and I'm not like that. And he's saying, I should tell him taking one extreme to another. I'm like, so... He is actually not talking to me right now because of how I'm treating him. But I'm not, I don't think I'm acting like a child because I'm just defending myself. I'm not going to allow someone to bully me because that's what my stepsisters did when they would complain about what I ate. They were bullying me. So, and he is a bully. I mean, and bullying hurts people's feelings. I mean, yes, he said he was trying to help me, but bullying doesn't help. Bullying hurts. And he doesn't understand that, you know. Obviously, there's a difference between helping someone and bullying them. And he's a bully. So, I guess, like, my question to you guys is, do you guys think that, like, I'm the one being petty? Or do you guys think that, like, he's too controlling? So, I think he's very manipulat manipulative and controlling. And he's an emotional abuser. Because when my stepsisters, and they complained about me all the time, and... They were making me, and I was I had to walk on eggshells, and I felt like I was under a microscope, and people were literally, literally watching every little thing I did when I was living with them. The people, like my stepsisters, my stepfather, the girlfriend when she was there, they would literally watch every single thing I did, every single thing I ate. And if they weren't around, then they would check the see what food was left and they would complain about it if something was gone or if there wasn't as much apple juice as there was when they last like before they left the house or something so that's bullying that's emotional abuse and what my friend is putting me through is also emotional abuse because like I'm afraid to tell him what I have to eat I'm afraid to like when I go over his house and I'm afraid like when we order food I'm afraid to, um, I'm afraid to tell him what I want. I'm afraid to tell him, oh, I, I want buffalo wings. I want this. I want that. I'm afraid to tell him, you know, what I want. I'm afraid to eat around him. And he'll also say like, oh, you have, he'll also make comments about what I eat. Oh, you eat the appetizers first and then you eat the pizza or you eat the cheesy bread first and then you eat the pizza. Well, I mean, that's not his business. It's really none of his concern. I mean, he has no right to bully me. Bullying hurts people. And the thing is, he had told me in the past that I don't deserve to... Because when, when, those, when uh, my stepsisters were bullying me, he said I don't deserve... He told me that I don't deserve to be subjected to that kind of behavior. 
He tells me I don't deserve to be subjected to that, yet he's putting me through the same thing. So tell me how that makes sense. If you tell someone they don't deserve to be treated a certain way, don't put them through that behavior that you feel they don't deserve. I mean, that's just an oxymoron right there. I mean, he knowing what I had to live with in the past, you'd think he would not just put me through the same thing because I moved out. We moved out of there so I wouldn't have to be subjected to that. And then yet he's subjecting me to it all over again. And his intentions are the same as my stepsister's intentions. And I've told him over and over that I don't appreciate him putting me through that and complaining about me and bullying me. And I've asked him very nicely over and over to please stop. And he will, he'll stop for like a week and then he'll just do it again. And I'll tell him, well, you have to eat to sustain yourself. And he'll be like, well, you're missing the point. So I'll tell him to stop, but he won't actually stop. He, he'll just continue to do it. So do you guys think he truly is trying to help me? Or do you guys think that he, are you guys with me thinking that he's controlling and he's a bully? So, yeah. I just had heard my iPod say the time, and you guys will understand a little bit more about my stepsisters. I mean, I'm sh I gave you guys a gist of how they were in this video, how horrible they were, but you guys will understand more in detail, and I'm going to do a separate video on that. I do plan to, on doing that, so... I'm not going to go into detail about my stepfather because obviously there was issues there too, but I'm just going to talk about how they treated me. So be on the lookout for another video about that in the near future. Probably, I don't want to say when because it's you guys are supposed to be surprised at the videos every day, so I'm not going to say when, but definitely be looking out for it. It will most likely be in this month because I need video ideas, so it'll most likely be in this month. So I don't want to air out, you know, my how my stepfather was with my mother. That's really I wouldn't I don't want to put that out there on YouTube. I don't want to put her business out here on YouTube. So I will just talk about like how they were with me, how my stepsisters were with me, how they treated me and um Trust me, that will be a <laughs> long enough video, so um, I just don't want to talk about it here because I just don't want this video to be really long, and it already is getting there, so because my iPad just said the time a few minutes ago, and this video is almost 20 minutes long, so I'm going to go now. I'm going to end this video, and I will see you guys tomorrow. All right, bye, guys.